Only last last door yesterday. We're just finishing soup and then as soon as the veg are ready it'll be good to go. Yeah. 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 And here we are, it's Christmas Eve and uh, our minds are filled with Christmas story and yet all the people who are here today are people we be have helping week after week who come for food parcels. I need to do a food parcel for Ross though. Right. Ross has come with him. Thank you very much. Oh, Ross, is it? Come on, Ross. Oh, yeah. How are you? Me? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I got a letter got? from probation. I have um, asking uh, basically for a food for parcel. A food parcel, right. Yeah. So you're on probation then, are you, Ross? Yeah, I'm yeah. on probation. It's just that. Do you like spaghetti? Yeah, I like spaghetti. You want a pool ring as well? If, I, if possible. We come for food parcels, and so we're giving them a special Christmas meal this afternoon. We, as a congregation, decided that we had to have a very clear um, mission, and we spent quite a number of weeks praying for guidance and looking at what we should be doing. And when we thought long and hard and prayed, we just, as a church decided that our clear goal was to help the poor and needy. Well, basically, since I've had the stroke, my life has been turned upside down. And, um, you know, if, like I say, if I, I can't do a lot of things, like I can't even use a knife and fork. You know, like Liz in here, you know, she, she's fantastic. I do, she, she got to know me now over the weeks and I don't even have to ask, she just knows my needs. What, what we thought we would be doing and what we're actually doing is very different because we thought we would be feeding the homeless but actually there's a lot more to being homeless than we realise. Because of my past, um, what can I say, my past um, problems. Pro problems and my, what I've done in the past basically. So yeah, um, I'm going to, I come to collect a full, full parcel. So. We needed a premises um, with kitchen facilities, toilet facilities. Though we've only been open a year, we've got a food bank going, we've got this feeding programme going. Everything is thought, no, no, no. The church, the church does not um, put no pressure on anyone to accept Jesus at all. They don't. Ex they don't push religion on no one. They don't do nothing like that at all. They just. They. They welcome you up here. They're the most welcoming people I've met. Um, they welcome you in. If they, they offer you food, they offer you whatever you want. They, anything they can do, clothing, anything they can do to help, they do to help you. Right, right. And so you're wearing red. Are you Father Christmas today? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> No, I don't think I'd be Father Christmas. But. And um, I volunteered because I want to help people. I don't care what they've done or anything. I just really want to help people, really. Yeah. So. so, what what we thought we would be doing and what we're actually doing is very different because we thought we would be feeding the homeless, but actually there's a lot more to being homeless than we realise that we're not here to force people into a Christian uh, way of living. We hope that what we're doing will rub off on them. And if anyone wants to know more, we're only too willing to give them the gospel story.